Today I'm going to show you how I made a quilted non-slip tea tray mat. It was a simple, fun and easy sewing project that I finished in one sitting. So I started out by tracing the inside of the tray using interfacing. Um, you can see that it fits very nicely inside and so I'm going to cut it out. The interfacing is stiff and stops the mat from crumpling and rumbling. The shape that I have is a nice symmetrical oval and I'm just checking to see if it fits inside the tray, which it does. Now I'm going to take it and use it as my pattern and pin it to an old clean quilt or comforter, the inside of it anyway, and I'm going to be cutting that out. This is going to make it a little bit puffy and nice, um, just a nice textural form that's going to help me quilt it later on. So that's the sort of sandwich inside layer and now I'm going to cut the top fabric and it's going to be gingham and I'm going to cut it one and a half inches larger on each side so it's a larger oval. Just use the, the interfacing as a base and I'm going to pin a quarter inch hem on all sides. Just fold it once and pin all around making sure that it stays nice and curved and doesn't go straight. So what you should have is a large oval that's bigger than the interfacing piece. And I'm going to sew that down with a straight stitch. Okay, so I cut a base out of this textured brown cloth, but later on I discovered that wasn't enough. So here's what I did anyway. I pinned all the layers to the gingham, um, cotton, quilt, interfacing, and then the base. And then I folded the gingham over it and pinned it down very carefully so that it would look nice and have a nice curve all around. You might have to gather it on the bottom as you can see just to keep everything really taut and well fitted and I'm going to sew that down um, right side up and it's going to be very close to the side just a quarter inch or so or three eighths of an inch from the side um, and with a medium length um, stitch Now I realized that the base was slippery and the mat was going to move around so I went and got my non-slip fabric which you can see makes a huge difference in terms of the mat not moving so I had to use the non-slip fabric. It's what you use at the bottom of bedroom slippers. The problem with this fabric is that it's not big enough and I had to kind of patch a hole so the bottom doesn't look as nice as I want it to. Um, but I patched the hole with a glue gun because this fabric is partly plastic so a glue gun would work in, in this case. Um, I carefully rolled or sort of tapped or patted the glue down and I also did it on both sides just to make it really secure. And then the same thing, I just folded the gingham over it. Now I cut the, the non-slip fabric slightly smaller to fit inside everything. So it's now my new base. And you can see I'm doing the very same thing, but I'm going to sew a quarter inch or three eighths of an inch in from the previous line. I'm just gonna follow the previous line with my sewing foot and do the exact same thing, but from the bottom this time being careful to remove pins as I sew. And finally, I'm just drawing out the quilting marks, making it really clear. It's gonna, just going to be diagonal like lines that crisscross so you get squares, diagonal squares. And just sew that down really carefully, trying to make it as straight as possible. It is quite difficult, but it's done! All I did after that was iron it and it's ready to use.
ironed it from the top and the building prevented the bottom layer from melting. So you can see the tray is really slippery but with the mat, you know, the cups aren't going anywhere. They are staying put, which is what my mom wanted. So here it is. And if you like this video, do subscribe and like it and come back for more.